the truth about being a real estate agent, what they don't want you to know. This is Ken Van Lu, number one international best-selling author of the Modern Wealth Building Formula, How to Master Real Estate Investing. And yes, I was a real estate agent, and I'm going to tell you what they don't tell you today. If you like what you've been hearing on YouTube, please share, subscribe, and smash that like button. Keep it coming. I love the comments. Just want to acknowledge you guys for having the courage to step up. Every time I talk to one of you, I get positive feedback and I really want to thank you for that. Let's take a look at what they don't tell you as a real estate agent. Number one, you are ahead of the game, my friend. There is a very small percentage of people that go in their own business and as a real estate agent, you're in your own business. I don't know about you, but when I got my real estate license, I learned a lot of things that I was totally unaware of. I didn't know a lot about surveys and boundaries and easements and particular types of financing and the different types of contracts and the different types of real estate. I wasn't aware, you know, and I, I really believe as an agent, they don't tell you, you're ahead of the game. You are ahead of the game. You learn about accounting. You learn about sales. You learn about finance. You learn about easements. You learn about infrastructure. You learn a heck of a lot becoming a real estate agent. I recommend it now to people where before I didn't because it gives you such a decent foundation. It's relatively strong that you can build upon. And the best part is item number two, as soon as you become a real estate agent, you're in business for yourself, you get tax advantages, you get to start the write off and you are your own CEO. So you're your own boss. You call your own hours, you have flexibility. But just the first two options of being ahead of the game and having tax advantages, you automatically start making money before you start selling real estate. And another item is really there is just unlimited possibilities for revenue. That is another thing that they don't tell you. Because as a real estate agent, you're not only limited to doing real estate. You could do real estate investing. You don't just have to sell. You just don't have to list properties. You can invest in real estate. You can put syndications together. The sky's the limit. You can partner with a lawyer that you meet in real estate. You can partner with an appraiser that you meet in real estate. There's all different types of formation agreements that you can put together being in real estate. That's what I was saying. You are ahead of the game. And that's what I'm talking about is proximity is power. Think about it. You're surrounded with all these professionals. You're on your own with flexibility. You're thinking like an entrepreneur. You have tax advantages. What's better than that? And you have unlimited possibilities for other revenue. So these are the things they don't tell you because they want to tell you to, hey, make sure you list another property. Make sure you sell another property so you can pay me my commission. Some of the brokerage firms now are incentivizing agents to build teams. It's ultimately a commission base. There's other realtors now that have set up. I think it's EXP. It's like a multi-level marketing business. I really have no idea what they're doing. Other than the fact is, is that this is all about awareness. This is about being aware that when you have your real estate license, you're ahead of the game. Your proximity is power. You're in a business that nine out of 10 millionaires are in real estate. Why would you not? be in real estate? Why would you not go into real estate and get a foundation and get your real estate license even if you're not using it? When I got my real estate license, it was for one purpose. It was to get the start of a foundation, but primarily I didn't know much about real estate. I knew about construction. I knew about engineering. I didn't know a lot about real estate and getting the license actually taught me a lot about the basics and the fundamentals of real estate which allowed me, and you've heard me say in other videos, to self-train myself. Because the one thing that's lacking when you become a real estate agent is that they don't give you the formal training. But there's so many pros that I'm talking about that they don't tell you about that you are ahead of the game. And that's the key. So I really just want to kind of sum it up that you have the ultimate flexibility as an entrepreneur. As a real estate agent, you would never think that. 
And that is the whole key that I want you to know. Become a real estate agent and they're not going to tell you that you're an entrepreneur or real estate investor and you have flexibility. That's what they're not going to tell you. And I wanted to make sure that you got that today because the one thing that's going to happen when you become a real estate agent, there's going to be a lot of negativity from people around you because people don't want you to succeed. You have to stay focused on your vision and that's why you always hear me talk about setting your goals and visions and as a real estate agent, you have to do the same thing. So get out there, get your license, step up, become a real estate investor, get with proximity as power, focus on being a millionaire, play the odds. This is Ken Van Lu. Check out my social media. Hit the like button below. Subscribe to my channel. Leaving you with, make it a great day.